Hi, this is Quant Nomad. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you uh, how you can use a trailing stop loss in your uh, trading strategies. So here I have a very simple strategy. This is simple uh, moving average cross strategy. And I want to add trailing stop loss to it. So how can I do this? So it's very, very easy. You need to add a um, strategy exit call to your strategy. And strategy ex exit has many, many different parameters, but you need to use only a few of them. So first parameter you have to use is ID for your current uh, current order. So I will put a long, uh, long trailing stop loss. Uh, next, you need to specify what position do you want to exit from. So I want to exit from long position. Next, you need to specify two more arguments. So uh, first is trail points and um, uh, another one is trail offset and uh, this uh, these two arguments are in uh, ticks it's not very really useful for me because uh, for Bitcoin USD uh, one ticks is a very small amount and I need to set here quite a big amounts so I prefer to use this kind of stuff in percentage terms but unfortunately uh, these parameters are in ticks so with very simple tricks, I trick I can actually um, make make this work with percentage terms. So, for example, I, if I want to specify two percent, what I can do is I can say, okay, this is my close value of, of your current bar. Then I will just multiply this by two percent, and after that, I will divide this by uh, min for uh, min tick. So that's it. So basically, this is my value. And let's copy the same value for a trail of set. Okay, that's done. And let's do the same stuff for short side. I will just change uh, my IDs. Everything else will be the same. So um, let's understand. I will save it and see if it works. And let's understand how the stuff actually works. So uh, first of all, after you have an entry, if you have your trailing stop loss enabled, uh, tra trading you will wait for um, this amount of ticks in basically 2% when your price will kind of go in, a, in the correct direction for you. So basically if, if this is a short um, trading you will wait for price to go down for like about 2% and for this bar at this point uh, your uh, trailing stop loss will be enabled and after that uh, trading you will keep track of kind of minimal value for short side of your uh, position and on two percent above this kind of minimal value for this position will be always like um, a stop loss level and if price will cross this level your position will be closed and this is what actually basically happened here so you can say see and if from here from the lowest level of your uh, of your position you can see that okay from here to here so it's about 2%, so basically it works as we expect it to work. So it's quite nice and quite useful. And what you can do actually with this stuff, uh, with this kind of trailing uh, points functionality, you can create some sort of uh, trailing kind of um, profit targets. So basically you want your uh, position to be in profits first, and after that you enable your trailing profit target and you kind of can capture kind of more profits this way. So it can be interesting for you as well. So another thing you need to know about uh, this uh, trailing stop loss is that actually you can create uh, trailing stop loss and specify not trail points but actually trail price. So you can actually compute uh, absolute price yourself and specify it instead of trail points and maybe this way it is more convenient for you. But it's not all good. This strategy has some problems with trading you. And, um, here, for example, I have very stupid strategy. So basically what it does, it is always going long for every bar it can. And after that, it sets a uh, stop loss and um, my, my kind of levels of um, number of ticks are relatively small compared to my uh, Bitcoin. So, you know, like this is just like $5 and $5 is nothing for Bitcoin for, for daily chart. So let's add this to chart and see how this stuff actually works. And as you can see, the strategy becomes perfect. But why is this actually happening? You can see that every time we enter position at open and we exit it almost at the top. And we can 
that are like it just unbelievably good to have like 100% profitable trades. So why is this happening this way? So um, well, this is because uh, trading you uh, treats open, high, low, close very simplistically. So basically, if you add this to like a daily chart, for example, trading you will know uh, in, in the strategy you will have access only for two values: open, high, low, close, and that's it. Trading you doesn't know what's going on inside the bar, and um, and inside the bar things can go very different ways. So and when kind of trading you kind of compute strategies, it assumes that for for example for like green bars it goes from like open to low, then to high, then to close. And so basically if from uh, high to uh, close there is more than your amount of um, basically ticks you specify, you will always go get money. But this is not how it happening. So here for example I have an example. This is uh, uh, November 29th and here the same kind of um, the same stuff um, in uh, 15 minutes uh, bars. So as you can see, you, you can look at this stuff and you can understand that it's not just so easy. So trading you just think that it goes from like open to low, then to high, then to close, but it's not what's happening. So basically, if you think about this kind of small um, profit arc, uh, stop loss level, we actually um, did, you can understand that, of course, it will be hit somewhere here for the first kind of, I don't know, like the third bar, probably or even second bar of this uh, of this day but of course not here at the top not here so here's this is red bar actually the level we exit our position but it won't happen in reality because you can see that it's here but we want your price just to go down up like 500 points five dollars and then down five five dollars and of course this will happen very quickly for bitcoin but it would what happen at the top for sure so be careful with this stuff. So try to use um, trailing stop loss all, only if your kind of uh, if your stop loss level is big enough, kind of bigger than eight ATR for for your um, for your stock or something like that. So if results seems just too good to be true, just be very careful. It might happen. This kind of stuff might happen to you. And if you see that um, your trailing stop loss exit your position just the same bar, you have an entry be extra careful this might not be really valid so i think that's all about trailing stop loss in uh, training thank you for watching see you bye